It's time to explore the financial benefits associated with the modern-day oil boom that is sweeping the nation. Get ready for Crude Awakenings with Brandon Cox. Why don't you address probably the two biggest questions that I get is, this is so great, Brandon, how come everybody isn't doing it? Because that's a question that's came up with the management team out there. Uh, But then the second part of that question is, what are the chances of not finding oil? Sure. Well, you know, I guess I can talk to that on a couple levels. First of all, repairing your own car will save you a lot of money. But if you don't know what you're doing, you're in the weeds. Sure. So uh, first and foremost, you know, there, there's uh, you, you need somebody who knows what the heck they're doing. But also it's a timing thing. Uh, the, 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 the business model and the strategy is, you know, a lot of these wells were were drilled and were active in the early 80s. And uh, when the oil market went to crap, there wasn't a whole lot of reason to be pulling that out of the ground when we were dealing with cheap oil from the Mideast. Well, now, and, uh, you know, from what I've seen and from what you've shown me, it costs you about 35 bucks a barrel to get it out of the ground. Well, just look at where oil is. It's at 100 bucks a barrel. And uh, where you're drilling in Louisiana, there's a premium on that of uh, 10 or so bucks a uh, a barrel. So we're looking at uh, 110 minus 35. That's your profit of, uh, of a barrel you're, you're pulling out of the ground. It makes financial sense. Why isn't anyone doing it? Well, the big guys, they're off shore. They're going after they're going after the Fort Knoxes um, mm-hmm. and uh, what pipeline oil and gas is going after the smaller uh, the, 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 the smaller plays that the big guys aren't set up to do. So it all does make sense. Right. What, why aren't the big guys set up to go after the same types of projects that we go after? Well, because they're they're picking up dollars um, in relatively speaking, you're picking up pennies. Now, I don't know if that's the best analogy, but the pennies that we're talking about are millions of dollars versus the va- the, 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 the dollars are billions sure. uh, 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 of dollars. So there, there's a difference there. They don't have the, uh, the, the their business isn't set up to go after the smaller plays. Uh, they're going to put a rig out there somewhere in the Gulf or somewhere off of Africa uh, or wherever the next big place is. Mm-hmm. And what we're doing is going after the things that they they've left behind that are still viable, but just not in their business model. It's like me. I buy single family houses. I can't afford a hotel. Donald Trump isn't buying single family houses, right. but I've done pretty well buying and selling single family houses over the last five or six years. That That's a great analogy. Um, and I might use that in future shows, but we'll just, we'll have to get that trademark or copyrighted for it. We'll talk. 